Hi, this is Eric Van Kouser here. Um, we're training delts here at the Body Shop in Yorkville, Ohio. Um, as you can see, right now we're off season, looking swollen right now, feeling real good. I'm uh, going to throw some heavy weight around today and see how it goes. Uh, one of the first exercises that I usually do in my shoulder workout, I usually like to start it off with side raises. Um, I like to do that because I like to hit the side delts first. I know a lot of people like to do pressing movements first, but um, I prefer to actually get the, the side delt uh, since I want to work on a little whiff more right. instead of just the basic pressing movements. Um, when I'm doing that, I mean, I just kind of start out light, warm my way up to one big working set when I do my side lateral raises. Um, I really don't count the reps. I just do as many reps as, until I can feel it good. And uh, I try to go as heavy as possible. And usually on my heavy set, I drop the weight down to a lighter set and burn out a few reps at the end for better quality sets on my side raises. Um, I've just found that I've gotten better results doing my side raises first than my pressing. Sometimes, I mean, every once in a while I'll throw the presses in there, but I think you can't beat a side raise for, for your shoulders. You get a lot of your front delts when you're doing a lot of benching and other movements. And I think on shoulder day, you should focus on your side delts the most. Uh, my last video, I got a couple good questions on why I always wear straps when I work out, even on leg day and chest day and everything day. I just uh, always wear my straps, my lifting straps, because it just makes me feel comfortable. It's kind of like when you have like a, a t-shirt that you're used to wearing to bed every night or something like the, a weight belt. I just kind of put it on and it puts me in the zone. And how I'll strap it on anything. You'll see me strapping in on leg extensions, on squats, anything. It just makes me feel good and makes me feel comfortable with the weight. Um, it might be crazy, but oh well, it works for me. Um, a lot of people say you shouldn't do that because you want to work on your forearms. Um, but if I want to work on my forearms, I'll do forearm exercises. I don't need to do that by doing other exercises. Um, I figure you can actually focus on the weight better that you're using and the muscle that you want to be using if you're wearing straps also. Um, then I've got a lot of questions about my shoes that I wear uh, when I do my leg training videos. I don't know why, but it always comes up every time I do a leg training video that people want to know what shoes I wear. Uh, I usually do wear Adidas. They're usually Adidas Goodyears, so everyone always wants to know, so now you know. I'm going to move over to uh, front raises here. Uh, you can see I'm going to be doing them with a straight bar. Uh, I don't. I prefer them to do with a straight bar. I don't really like using the dumbbells on this exercise. I think it's hardcore if you use a straight bar. Uh, if you can hold out heavy weight in front of you like that, then it's, it's pretty hardcore. Um, I actually like to go pretty heavy on these, and I. I mean, you might be saying I'm cheating, but I'm, I'm using my muscle when I'm doing these. I get a little swing in there, but it's all good. My front delts feel it, and. I'm in off season, so I'm trying to use heavy weight. Um, as you can see, I'll start out light and then work my way up to one heavier set also. I'm going to do rear delts here, uh, one arm at a time with a dumbbell. Most people will do them uh, either on a rear delt machine or cables or even dumbbells bent over. But I prefer to do them one arm at a time by laying down on your side on the bench. You actually get a better stretch in your rear delt. And you can isolate it. You have to use a little lighter weight, but you actually feel it a lot better when you do it. I have uh, gotten a lot of questions lately on um, changing up my column. A lot of people are asking me um, and telling me that they like the way I've been writing my column in the last couple issues. Uh, I've just been basically just instead of answering the Q and A's, I still do that, but I've been just uh, putting in things about like bodybuilding as in life lessons or in things that I've experienced throughout my years of bodybuilding. Um, I think it's always good to uh, pass on your knowledge and so people don't do the wrong things um, or get into things that they shouldn't be getting into. And since I've been there and done a lot of different things, that uh, I just hope I can guide people in the right direction and motivate people by some of the stories that I've been telling them. Um, so I mean, I hope it helps you guys out and I've got a good response on it. and. If you have any questions or want me to write about anything, just hit me up on my Q&A and I'll answer you online or I'll throw it in the, uh, my column in the magazine.
Another question that I've been getting a lot on my Q&A thread on MD is um, what my diet's like in the off-season. Uh, right now, my diet, I'm pretty much eating whatever I want, but I'm eating clean. I'm trying to gain weight, so I'm not really restricting any calories. Um, I'm basically eating like um, three shakes, weight gainer shakes a day, and three to four solid meals a day, uh, just depending on my work schedule and how everything falls during the day. I'm not really counting my calories. I'm still eating high carbs. Uh, I try to at least get two grams of protein per pound of lean body mass on my body. Uh, I think with with the high higher carbohydrates and extra fat for the calories there that I've been getting good results on my weight gain. My uh, protein pretty much comes from red meat or uh, eggs is what I'm eating right now. Uh, I just eat the whole egg. I don't take the yolk out. The extra calories in the yolk is fine for me, and it, it works great. My last set here on shoulders, I'm going to do a burnout set. I usually like to do something at the end of the shoulder workout just to finish them off. Uh, today I'm going to do upright rows and side delts and then some steering wheels. And I'll go through twice on that, and that'll be it. Um, the red meat, I'll either eat steaks or I'll grind it, ground it up, just ground beef in a frying pan, uh, throw some rice in it, or I'll eat a steak and a sweet potato for most of my meals. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with eating red meat two times a day, one time a day. Some people don't like to eat it that often, but uh, I feel my body responds well to the red meat uh, off season and in season. I just wanted to give everyone an update on um, our family situation here. Um, Heather is about ready to have the kid in a few weeks. It's been crazy around here. Um, Xavier's excited about the new baby. The baby's name is going to be London Avery. And uh, hopefully everything goes well. The pregnancies went well so far. But it's been a little crazy. I mean, uh, I think they always are. We want to have a couple more kids, but Heather doesn't want to go through another nine months of pregnancy. And I don't know if we could either. If we could just have the kids, it would be uh, a lot easier, I guess. Once they're here, it's easy. The nine months is pretty tough. Uh, but she went through it well. I mean, I feel for her. And I'm just glad that guys don't have to do it because they wouldn't be able to. Uh, also, we're having uh, my bodybuilding show, uh, the Eric Van Kouser Classic. Uh, it's coming up in a few weeks, September 12th. Um, it's going to be a great show. We've got a lot of uh, entries so far, and hopefully it's going to just keep growing. Uh, Universal Nutrition is sponsoring it, and uh, MD. So. Hopefully you guys uh, check out everything that we post up on our website for it. And uh, if you have any questions about the show, you can just email us at wvbodybuilding at msn.com.